Hey, what's up guys? It's T-Bone here, and welcome back to another episode of playing Legendary Game of Heroes. So Grand Arena, this week's event, has just started. It is a uh, Earth Affinity Slayer event, so that means you can bring in your Fire uh, Slayer heroes uh, for the fights. And this is a regular Slayer event, not a World Conqueror, so uh, you'll. this is the same old mechanic where you're fighting bosses and you are um, you know, working together to defeat a guild boss. Uh, so we can take a look at the packs that are available for this week's event. As usual, there are two different packs. One is the the Pride pack, and the the main unit is Cecilia the Proud. It is an attacker demigod hero, and uh, her battle skill is to generate one firepower gem. And if you have less than 100% health, this effect is doubled. In other words, you get two firepower gems. You don't get a firepower gem uh, six. Uh, the maximum it gets is a three. Uh, so this is uh, the featured unit, and uh, the other pack, which gives you a guaranteed card, is the Glo Glory Pack. So uh, Glory Pack, uh, you have a chance to get Penelope the Swift, which is also a uh, a demigod hero, but it's a warrior type, um, which uh, you know as a leader provides three hundred percent damage and health for all fire demigod heroes. And the battle skill uh, transforms two gems into fire and attacks the earth enemy for 1500 attack. The ultra rare version of this card is the Blazing Glory. And uh, she has the same leader skill and her battle skill is to generate one fire power gem. And if eight or more fire gems exist, then doubles the effect. And uh, it should uh, also consider what the counter skills are. So uh, for Blazing Glory, it's Dispel Poison. And for um, Penelope, it is, I believe, Dispels Weaken. Uh, yes, it Dispels Weaken. And then if you look at the, uh, let's go back to the other deck, uh, the other pack, um, it's important to note that in the Pride pack, Cecilia will actually uh, dispel fear. So fear is a, uh, a debuff that will basically um, clear out uh, the gauge, your battle gauge. So if you have teams that rely on the battle skills, uh, fear is actually a pretty nasty um, counter to your skills. So having her in your deck will protect you against uh, your, you know, uh, your team uh, losing your battle skills. And it definitely would work for me, but I'm, you know, uh, I'm probably not going to invest in it. I'm just going to deal with that. But what I need to do is I need to go ahead and purchase some uh, up to tier two here because I will get my guaranteed a penalty at tier two. So let's purchase the first tier and uh, let's keep our fingers crossed and see if we get something, uh, maybe an ultra rare. So let's see. Well, probably not since I can see already that I'm going to get a water unit. So let's just see uh, what we get out here. So it looks like I'm um, getting the uh, the various uh, shards for upgrading, and I get a what is this? An Earth or a Cursed Water Hero. So not very useful. That sucks. Next, let's go ahead and open Tier Two. So there is a guaranteed a penalty in this uh, pack. So let's go ahead and open up the other Catalyst tier. Looks like I got another five star here, so that's good. Uh, and then here it is Penelope. So now I have a Penelope. I can go ahead and uh, try. And, let's try and upgrade her. Uh, I've already also purchased uh, Penelope in the collections. So some people don't remember or they don't know how to get the card in, in collections. Remember to go into um, to the fight page and event collection scroll to the bottom it tells you what you need so you need generally to get some trophies in this case 250,000 you need to get uh, some of the uh, catalysts and then you need to get one of these cards uh, as well at three star now there uh, this card is always available in the store I already purchased it in the store but you can see in the event store uh, you can purchase it for 10 tokens uh, it's gone now but purchase it and then upgrade it to three stars while we're here, we can also see, take a note and see that you can now purchase daily dungeon tokens uh, using to uh, using these tokens, which is really good because these are extremely hard to get. It's one of the biggest complaints is how long it takes for us to uh, build up these coins. So now we can purchase them. 
And also, uh, you can get the summoning rune shard now. Uh, this is what you need in order to upgrade um, uh, the demoness, Granger the demoness, as well as I guess the uh, the hero, uh, the the boss uh, for this event. So let's go back and uh, try and upgrade the unit now, actually, because I want to build up the team that I uh, wanted to 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 use. So first, let's go and uh, do evolve, so we can see Angel's Tiara. Virtue. So you need uh, one, two, and three stars. Let's go ahead and evolve. And I can evolve again to five star. Do I have enough? And it looks like I have enough to put her straight to six stars now, so that's good. And so this is going to be my leader uh, because I, I want to, you know, um, she deals three hundred percent damage and health. I want her as the leader because my other two teams. Uh, I'll talk about the other members in the team. Let's see. Can I upgrade her? So what do I need here? So I, oh, I can do this. So I, I, I just need to go ahead and purchase um, additional shards. And now let's just go ahead and, and do this. I, you know, like in my previous videos, I don't typically do this. So let's go to event store and let's go and buy some TRS box. It's going to cost me 32 tokens at 75. So what I'll get is I'll get a bunch of tokens and then I'll get a gift for my guildmates. And then I have enough to get one more box. So let's just go ahead and open that. I'm hoping that I can at least uh, level level her to five stars. I, I doubt I'll be able to get the six stars with the, the requirements here, but let's let's just see. So let's go ahead and upgrade. All right, so four star. What am I missing? So I guess I need a bunch more of the two stars. So. That's okay, because what I can do is talk about the team makeup. And I'm going to wait until I get her to six stars before I use this team, but this is what I've already prepared. So if you take a look here, uh, let's go ahead and switch. Change this to Slayer event. And I will put this one in. So what I'm doing here is uh, I have Idilia as my support unit. She basically, you know, um, she generates one fire power gem three. So having two of them uh, gives you two power gem threes every time you match nine gems. And also I have the Night Sun, which, you know, uh, destroys all non-fire gems. So this just, you know, really helps boost attack. And then you put Penelope the Swift as leader to increase her damage by 300%. Uh, uh, with a 10 times bonus, you're going to deal some massive damage here. Uh, but, uh, so that's one option. And then the other team I'm working with right now is just a straight up Idelia I'm using. Um, I'm using her as a leader right now, which actually provides 300% damage for Fire Spirit. And so as my other unit, I just bring my Mecha Moramasa, which is a Fire Spirit unit as well. So let's now go ahead and do some attack. Uh, the relic I'm using, taking advantage of the fact that I have a Spirit, is the Queen Staff, which creates four Fire Gems, as long as there is a Spirit on the team. So now let's go in and uh, I may need to... I might need to increase my um, my capacity here, so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, so level 32 go, that's fine. So let's go ahead and increase the capacity, and let's go and use one key here. So the the current strategy is we're trying as a guild to uh, finish off as many guild bosses as we can. We're trying to uh, basically get to a point where we could. Um, get to the level cap for the units, uh, for, the, for the guild boss. And what that allows us to do is to start defeating, because uh, because as you defeat the uh, guild bosses at the um, level cap, once it gets high enough level, you can actually start um, getting um, the, the keys as well, like just the regular keys for attack. And uh, so yeah, so it looks like I, I I was talking. I didn't realize that I lost my um, I lost my power for the night sun. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use Adelia right now, just so that I don't uh, lose their power either. Because the the goal here is to match 
match the night sun and it kind of sucks right now that I don't have I don't have it matched yet and I'm running out of time here and uh, All right, so let's just do this. So this is unfortunate, but I think I could still try and make this work. Yeah, no, that didn't work out the way I wanted. I, I intended. So this is a this is what I was talking about. So fear is a terrible, terrible spell. Uh, against the Night Sun team, and if you don't have a card that dispels fear, then you are going to get screwed. If you don't uh, get your, um, if you don't get your battle gauges right away in the first turn, so let's try this one more time and see if we can do this properly this time. Uh, and I'll try and not talk so much so I can actually do this correctly. All right, so this is what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to match it right away in the first turn all right so now that I've got this uh, let's hope that I get lucky with uh, with with the uh, Edelia here match it right next to it mm, unfortunately it didn't uh, all right well I'm just gonna have to do this because I was afraid that, uh, that once the fear um, takes uh, gets active, I would lose my power gauge for the night sun, which it did. And so I'm just going to go ahead and do this instead. I'm still going to get some damage, not as high as I would have uh, if I were able to match the two uh, fire gems created by Idelia. And so this is the struggle right now. Um, if you don't get the gem... Uh, if you don't get the matches in the first turn, then it will be harder. So that that's the the challenge I'm facing right now, uh, at least against the guild boss. Now, how do we fare against regular bosses though? Let's see. Um, so let's go ahead and attack Rothark here with this team and see how we do. And once I build up the uh, Penelope card, uh, I'll bring her in as well, and then uh, I'm going to see if that. Uh, it gets any better. All right, so this this should be good. All right, so that's that's a lot better now. So this is sort of what I was trying to do, you know, like uh, connect enough red gems so that um, I can do this right away. And let's go ahead and use a night sun. And let's go ahead and match. And see how we do here. Okay, so it looks like we dealt about 20 million damage there, and that was actually just enough uh, to finish the boss because there were other attackers at the same time, but they didn't finish it off, so I was able to finish the boss using my damage. So I dealt 20, but I guess only 4 million counted because somebody probably dealt about 16 million or so. So anyway, that's how I'm using this deck. And that's how I'm sort of going through uh, this event. And some of the, the different things about this event too, you'll notice that there is a new uh, new thing on the right here, a uh, leaderboard for what they call the dragon leaderboard. And this is where if you place uh, number one in the global fight, so globally, if you are number one, the reward that you get is so I obviously was placed uh, quite low here. <laughs> and I think the right thing would have been for me to actually just use this instead. So these are the various rewards that you get for uh, placing bronze or higher. Uh, if you basically don't place in uh, bronze 4 or higher, you'll just get gold. But otherwise you get a uh, hero plus soul of Leah. And then if you get to number one spot, you actually get Leah. And that's for the first day. And then uh, the next day, they will have uh, Sarah. And then on the third day, you'll have uh, the ability to win Twin Dragon. So uh, for Leah and Sarah, it's only 24 hours. But then for uh, the Twin Dragon, you'll have three days. And so uh, you have the ability to win these cards, but you have to place number one in global. So I'm probably not going to do that. 
and uh, you know I wish whoever places it that you know whoever's going after it I wish them luck so uh, that is pretty much the uh, the event in a nutshell and the thing that 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 you're you know basing uh, how they're calculating the, the leader is based on these um, I didn't I didn't actually show you uh, it's actually based on how much of these essences you collect as you defeat bosses. So all you have to do is defeat bosses, and then you'll see them dropped as well, all right? And uh, so that's that's that for the event. The next time I I come back, I would like to go over uh, the the PVP event. Uh, not the PVP, but the thing you get from the PVP, and that allows you to to go into the path of champions. We'll we'll talk about that in the next. Uh, in, in, a, in a separate episode, I don't want to um, put too much here. But that's that. Uh, hope you're having a good time. Hope you're enjoying it. Good luck to you, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.